Hey, David Richard at Princeton today. Just giving you some really broad tips to do well in the SAT math section. First off, as soon as you start the section, you have a bunch of formulas that are given to you. Even though they're given to you and you have access to those when you're taking the test, you want to memorize them. You don't want to be flipping back to the formulas thinking, maybe I should use this one, maybe I should use that one, and just wasting time. With the math section, a lot of students run out of time, I found, even more than the other sections. So you really want to memorize those formulas. You don't want to be wondering if the area of a circle formula is really uh, the same as the, the circumference formula. Those should just all be ingrained in your head. And uh, even though you're just going to save two minutes maybe with flipping back to those questions, flipping back to the questions from the formulas, those are really valuable, uh, valuable seconds that you want to you have to really do well on the tougher questions on the math section. Additionally, you want to go back to what you studied in algebra, geometry. Chances are you're taking the SAT junior or senior year, and at this point a lot of students have moved on to advanced trig, maybe pre-cal, calculus, depending on your high school, depending on your math skills. So you're actually getting away from the core concepts tested on the, uh, the math section of the SAT. So review those notes, and also I recommend that you, you take the math section without using your calculator. You really should be able to get an 800 without using a calculator at all. The math is pretty simple. Uh, it might save you a couple seconds if you don't know off the top of your head what 9 times 9 is or 9 times 12. You should know that, but uh, it really helps to not be reliant on your calculator. You might see a graph and start trying to graph things out on your graphing calculator when really you could answer the question faster not using a graphing calculator or not using uh, a calculator at all. So when you're practicing, practice without a calculator and definitely have a calculator on test day, but you don't want to get in the habit of running to your calculator like you might do for a calc test for pre-calc or, uh, or trig. You might definitely need your calculator in your high school classes, but for the math section of the SAT, you really don't need it, so you need to practice without it. I'm David Richard from Princeton. Good luck on the SAT.